Hi, I'm William Curley, Patissier Chocolatier. I'm very excited to be working with Lakeland Dairies. Today, I'm going to be doing a masterclass creating an Easter Sunday using Camel soft served ice cream. We take a, a nice bulb of glucose syrup and then we add approximately one third of our caster sugar. We're going to take it to a nice amber colour. Simultaneously, we start to boil a beautiful whipping cream from Lakeland Dairies. And we're going to add a nice beautiful vanilla pod. It's now starting to colour on the sides and then we gradually add another third of our caster sugar and we add the final third sugar and we just mix that through. So as you can see the sugar's now created this beautiful amber caramel and then we gradually start to add our cream and of course we're using Lakeland's whipping cream for this recipe and we then add our butter we're using Lakeland butter for this recipe. Once all the butter is emulsified we then take our sea salt and we add that to the caramel. And there we have our sea salt caramel. And we're just going to pour this onto a flat tray so we can get it to cool down rapidly. Firstly take the water, place this in the pan, and we then add our sugar. And we're going to make a caramel again. So when the sugar and water begins to boil, we then add our glucose syrup. So as you can see, our caramel is starting to come to a light amber colour. We're then going to take our toasted flaked almonds and then mix together until the almonds are fully incorporated. Just take the mixture and pour it on to a silicon lined tray. Just make sure it's nice and even and not too thick. We're firstly going to take our raspberry puree. We also add our fresh raspberries and we also add the large quantity of the caster sugar. So we take the pectin and the sugar and we just combine those together and then with a whisk, we just gradually add the pectin and sugar solution. We're going to pour it into a nice tray. So we've got a compote now. We're going to put this into a blast chiller and get that cooled down very quickly. Take two thirds of your chocolate, put it on a bain-marie, mix the chocolate until it reaches a temperature between 45 and 50 degrees Celsius. To temper the chocolate, we're going to take some dark chocolate it's not been melted, approximately a third, and we're going to add this to the mass. Okay, so our chocolate now is thickened up, it's nice and smooth. Our cupcake, and very carefully, we go just a little bit over a quarter, one third, with the chocolate, dipping into the, the mixture. So you want to put this in a cool, dry area for approximately 30 minutes to allow the chocolate to fully set. So we're now going to make the nest effect. Carefully pick up your cupcake mould, take the chocolate mixture and we start to pipe a lattice effect onto the cupcake mould. Like so. We've got some beautiful gold lustre. And we very carefully take the tempered chocolate, using a ladle, fill each mould. And then for these, we're going to scrape the excess chocolate off the top. We're going to flip it over. So we now flip our egg mould, and this helps give an even coat on the mould. So we're now going to fill our chocolate eggs with some sea salt caramel. And very carefully, we're going to cap the mini sea salt caramel eggs, and then just take the excess chocolate off. We'll let that sit for at least 30 minutes. Our eggs have now fully set, so we're now going to assemble our sea salt caramel chocolate eggs. We'll just carefully put them together, and there we have our golden sea salt caramel eggs. So we're now going to make our caramelised almond biscuit. We took the praline that we made earlier on, and we blitzed that into a powder. We put it into a sieve, and very carefully sieve a fine layer over the stencil. So we're now going to bake these in the oven. Firstly, raspberry compote and place that in the base of the chocolate nest. We then place a disc of vanilla gemoise on top and then pipe a ring of creme chantilly on top. 
And then because we love a little bit of raspberry compote, a generous splodge in the middle. And then it's time for the ice cream. Look at this baby. Wow. So we take our sea salt caramel eggs and place them at the front. And we have some beautiful freeze dried raspberry. And just sprinkle that on the top. We then take our birdie, he's looking after the nest. And just to finish it off, as it's such a glorious dish, we've got a little bit of gold leaf just to sprinkle on the top. And there we are. It's a fabulous Lake Linds Dairy inspired ice cream sundae.